a chat with Glendora, a show for living right. A chat with Glendora makes your day so bright. Words of inspiration, jokes to make you smile. Come relax and chat with Glendora for a while. You down in the dumps, folks? One woman says whenever I'm down in the dumps, I buy new clothes. And a woman next to her said, I was wondering where she got them. Down in the dumps, folks, here's some happy happenings that will just cheer you up immediately. <laughs> okay. Go for it, Amy. Um, Stephanie scans the contents of these TV shows from paper to the laptop, and the laptop emails the same to Victoria. Madeline Chapin called. Scott at the Trust looks out for Glendora. Pittsfield repeats last week, question mark. Hm. Pittsfield what, dear? Repeats last week, question mark. Hm. Oh, yes, the chat with Glendora. Uh-huh. I wonder why that happened. Google told Stephanie they would make a file of Glendora's numerous archived emails, and they did so in three minutes. Yeah. Stephanie downloaded them on the hard drive Toshiba in an hour or so. Isn't it amazing? We have a great God. The intelligence of this universe, folks. Did you go out to lunch, Amy? No, just waiting until you were done. Uh, delicious icebergs salad. Glendora brushed Nala Dog 350 strokes. <laughs> and uh, Patricia Sara said it made her coat look good. Uh we have two 500 gigabytes left on the Toshiba external hard drive. Woo! AT&T is too much hassle. Go back to straight talk. If I went outdoors, I would need mobile, but I am housebound. Therefore, I do not need mobile. It took AT&T interminably long on the telephone to try to give us back the number that we had on straight talk. And after all that, Amy, they didn't do it. And Amy said when she got her new phone, she knew that AT&T would do that to her again. So she just got a new number. Right, Amy? Yeah. <laughs> um, when Stephanie was a little girl, she and her dad took apart computers <laughs> to learn how they were made <laughs> and saved hundreds of dollars. Glendora has been waiting 15 years for an associate as tech-savvy as Stephanie. And now it's happened. Thank you, world. Okay, that's all from yesterday. Oh, that's good. Now, you have a letter from the... Is it the Humane Society of the United States or the American... No, Act? it's the Connecticut Humane Society. Oh, okay, you want to read that letter. All righty. Thank you. Dear Glendora, there's simply no greater gift than the love of a pet. Earning their love is priceless, and one of life's purest joys is watching a dog's excited wiggle or hearing a cat's contented purr when you offer them their favorite treat. <laughs> When Chloe limped through the doors of the Connecticut Humane Society, she didn't know whom to trust. This senior dog, this sweet senior had the doggy equivalent of a torn ACL. <laughs> Thankfully, you were there to shower her with all the love and care she needed. You gave her the surgery she needed for her leg, a collaborative effort between the CHS veterinary team and outside specialists. Wow. Your support also provided care from the behavior team so she could learn to trust again. A trained foster home where she could rest and heal 
and field trips after she recovered to build up her confidence. Whoa. Soon she was running, playing, and ready to show the world how much love she still has to give. <laughs> after nearly a year looking for a family, Chloe will finally spend her first holiday season with a young couple who are thrilled to welcome her home. Really? They are already taking her out for hikes and giving her all the treats she's missed. Oh, what a great story. To say it thank you, Chloe sent you two pet-friendly treat recipes. <laughs> she hopes you'll use them to show some love to a special pet you know. <laughs> Read us their recipes, would you, hon? Okay, so... For dog treats and... The first one is a peanut butter and pumpkin puffs for pups ingredient. It says you take two and a half cups of whole wheat flour, two large eggs, but you could substitute the eggs yeah, for something else. Yeah, you definitely can with baking powder and vinegar. Um, a half a cup of canned pumpkin, two tablespoons of peanut butter, a half a teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, and one teaspoon of water or more if necessary. Mm. Well, that sounds good. And did they have another one? Um, they have a one that's called Tasty Tuna Treats for Cats. Oh, that is it real tuna? Well, the way they describe it, yes, but you can you can substitute it for No, I don't know. No, cross that one out, dear. Okay. No, our kitty cats have to be vegan. All righty. And that's James Bias? Yes. And he's the CEO? Yes. Amy, thank you so much for reading that. You're welcome. The lawyer said to the judge, folks, I want a new trial on the basis of new evidence. The judge says, well, what's the new evidence? The lawyer says, I just found out my client has another $10,000. Bye-bye, everybody. Hey, folks, Amy just corrected me. I made a mistake. The happy happenings for yesterday, Sunday, October 27. Full speed ahead, Amy. Um... His Highness the Blue Jay carried away pecan halves. Amy did well on video of birds eating happily. Iceberg lettuce with vegan Hellman's mayonnaise. Vegan pork and what was it? Tenderloin? Tender bits? Tender yes, bits. Tender bits. Loma Linda. Amy uploads video to YouTube and Twitter as soon as completed. We read on the video Times Union Advertiser. Al Cole emailed us that our programs were never halted in Waterbury, Connecticut. He described the success of public access. We are duplicating it to our 78 TV stations. Two calls to high schools to empty a student, or to employ a student as a TV produ production assistant have produced nothing. Sorry, sometimes I can't read my own writing, which is sad. Uh, 52, 500, 1,000, 1,000, and 1,000. Um, Buddha, chosen means good acts. Victoria liked the email of the show's contents. Veg News, vegan angel food cake. Yeah, what do you think of that, folks? Telephoning 10 friends listed on the smartphone is on vacation until November 3rd. Yep. We have 400 contacts. We call 10 a day. Two days delay uploading open mic onto Twitter or X and YouTube. Uh -huh. Two recipes for dogs and cats, Connecticut Humane Society. Okay, dog. Animal Outlook. Yes, Animal Outlook. We have lost our letter from Animal Outlook. 
and I want to send them a donation. They go undercover into these brutal houses where they do these atrocious cruelty to animals. And they make a video of it, and they publicize it. And if you'd see one of those folks, I don't think you would lay down any more money at the supermarket to pay for that kind of brutality. Look at them. They're so versatile. They can fly, they can hop, they can build nests, they can lay eggs, they can sing, they can fly south. And here's Amy to tell you about Um, okay. Animals Outlet, right? Animals Outlook? Animal Outlook, yeah. Animal Outlook, they go into these places and expose the cruelty that goes on and shows it to people, hoping people will come to their senses. Would you read the, we sent them a small donation and here's their reply. All right. Amy's, Amy taking a little time here. So our first happy happening. No, honey, we're doing Animal Outlook. You want to do the letter from Animal Outlook? Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Are you enjoying watching the birdies? The letter says, The Hidden Truth. We can't keep letting them get away with it. For years, Animal Outlook has been taking you undercover to show you the reality of what life is like for animals in agriculture. The results are always shocking, but the major companies who benefit from its torture try to shift blame and avoid accountability for the suffering they've caused. With our latest investigation, Animal Outlook is seeking to end that trend and hold these bad actors responsible. But we need your help. Yes, we do. Animal Outlook. And we're going to send them another donation, Amy. And who signed that? Um, somebody named Mike. I said he's an undercover investigator. <laughs> undercover investigator. And then over, don't you have another one from Animal and one that's signed by a lady? Let me see, this one. This one was signed by Cheryl Lehi, Executive Director. How do you spell her last name, please? L-E-A-H-Y. L-E-A, Lehi? Yeah. Listen, folks, take her, please. Amy, on our way to happy happenings of October the 28th, 2024 year. All right. That is all from Animal Outlook. And then you want to go to... Um, we did a Connecticut Humane Society, so... Oh, yes. Would you do that, too? You want me to read that one? Yes, please, okay. honey. By all means. This is from James Bias, Connecticut Humane Society. Dear Glendora, there's simply no greater gift than the love of a pet. Earning their love is priceless. And one of life's purest joys is watching a dog's excited wiggle or hearing a cat's contented purr when you offer them their favorite treat. When Chloe limped through the doors of the Connecticut Humane Society, she didn't know whom to trust. This sweet senior had the doggy equivalent of a torn ACL. She was scared and in pain. Thankfully, you were there to shower her with all the love and care she needed. 
You gave her the surgery she needed for her leg. A collaborative effort between the CHS veterinary team and outside specialists. Your support also provided care from the behavior team so she could learn to trust again a trained foster home where she could rest and heal and field trips after she recovered to build up her confidence. Soon she was running, playing, and ready to show the world how much love she still has to give. <laughs> after nearly a year looking for a family, Chloe will finally spend her first holiday season with a young couple who are thrilled to welcome her home. They are already oh, right. taking her out, out for hikes and giving her all the treats she's missed. Oh, sweet. How's it signed, honey? To say thank you, Chloe sent you two pet-friendly treat recipes. She hopes you'll use them to show them some love and a special to a special pet you know. Read one. The second one we will not read. The first one is uh, peanut butter and pumpkin puffs for pups. It contains two and a half cups of whole wheat flour. Two large eggs, but you can substitute the eggs. Yeah, with uh, uh, you can substitute it with baking soda and vinegar. Half a cup of canned pumpkin, two tablespoons of peanut butter, a half a teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, and one teaspoon of water, or more if necessary. The next one we won't read you, folks, because it involves tuna. Amy, thank you very much. Who signed this? James Bias. Oh, he did? Yes. Oh, okay. Well, we'll tell him that we read this to you folks. Now you're going to read the happy happenings, are you? Sure. Waterbury, Connecticut email to Robert Jackson, Jonathan Cleary, Victoria Quincy. Jillian Stemweed and Enrique Casanova. Trenton. V viewers, you should watch YouTube a chat with Glendora. <laughs> Very carefully because your name may pop up on it. Amy found Animal Outlook. Now we can make a donation. Another to one. To stop cruelty to animals. Birds can talk, sing, hop, fly, build nests, lay eggs, beautiful colors. Mm. So versatile. Mm. House fly is still here. <laughs> Chief May Aaron does great work. Cooking, cleaning, a place for everything, and everything in its place. Chief Computer May. errands ad infinitum. <laughs> Chief May Aaron. Postal damage. Oh, postal damage. That's interesting. Listen to this. Apparently, we had a package arrive damaged. And what did the post office say? Their apology is elegant. They said they're sorry that they damaged your product. And Read that... it, honey. Read it. Uh, Glendora, I had to go get it. <laughs> oh... All right, go on to Happy Happenings, and we'll pick it up tomorrow. Okay, um, where was I? Oh, yeah, Glendora asked Amy to put money into Salvation Army pots this Christmas. Because I won't be out. And any time you see one, Amy, put in some money. I'll give you some cash. Okay. Well, I'll let you know when they start doing it. They haven't uh, done I, it yet. <laughs> uh huh. I think I'm going to make each pot five dollar bill. Okay. Well, wouldn't it be better to do chicks? Anybody could take the five dollars. Well, okay. All right, you need to work it out. Well, if you see one of those people standing outside of a store or something, and you put the money in their bucket, nobody else can take it out except them. Hmm. Okay. Claudia Cunningham letter. 
she watched the SS Glendora in 1955. When she was seven years old. So did Margaret Ann. And now they're about 75 years old. Michael Knob, Bronx Public Access. Bronx Public Access. 30 years. Congratulations, you people. Public Access TV in the Bronx, BronxNet. Montgomery, Maryland. Mont four Mont months paternity leave. What was that, Amy? Montgomery, Maryland. Four months paternity leave. Paternity leave? Four months? Wow. Uh, vegan candy, October 13th. On Veg, veg New. I'm going to have to go to Vegan Candy because the manufacturers are not making candy the way they used to. They don't use sugar, they use corn syrup. They don't use butter, they use corn syrup. It has no flavor. And the prices are up to like $32. No, we're not going to fall for that. We're going to go to Veg News. We're going to make our own candy. Jackfruit substitute for chicken. Jackfruit substitute for chicken. These poor chickens. They're so mean to them. Glendora has made 93 calls to high schools searching to hire a senior or junior as a TV production assistant. Not one person has joined us. Folks, is it true? Here I am, 96 years old. No hospitals, no doctors, no medicine, no pills, no bills, and vegan. And I'm three generations uh, before these youngsters in the high schools that I'm trying to reach. Is it true that they don't want to work? that they've lost the work ethic, the Puritan fathers, what a work ethic they had. Is it true the work ethic is blown out the window? Any more happy happenings? Um, three cups of seeds to the birds. <laughs> Are they eating, Amy? Yes, there's some birds outside biting right now. Tell Bunny who they are. Um, most of them are the small finches. Oh, okay, the little nut hatches? Yeah. Uh-huh. And where did the chickens go? Uh, from this angle, you can't see the chickens. They are under the windowsill. Okay. Listen, folks, when all is said and done, the only thing that really matters is how did you treat others. Animals are others. Please, all of us, look around to see how animals are be treating and don't have anything to do with this cruelty. Don't you put your money down on the supermarket shelf to pay somebody to perform this cruelty by the billions. Don't you do it, folks. Answer the phone. Bye-bye, Amy.